So it's a daily market analysis once again. Let's get into the charts and see the patterns. So this is an empty 50 and you have a green candle after so many red candles. So in the sense after six days of red close today we have a green at last and um, that seems to be an inside bar that means the candle is well inside the previous candles right? high and low so in a way it indicates consolidation and bang of tea, same it's inside the big large candle of yesterday which indicates market is paused or consolidated in effect a small Try to move has happened if you see just trending up, right? But not a breakout or anything, not a big uh, up move or a big bounce, small bounce up to several days of uh, pause or uh, several days of downfall. So it's consolidation, but patterns charts are indicating. Bank of demand is to close above the 100 expansion moving average will lift team is already above the 100 and trying to climb the bow. Uh, the 50 expansion moving average, we just not done it. So, yeah, so there is a pause. Um, Bollinger Bands indicates a pause, a consolidation is straight itself the same. Right? Absolute consolidation sideways is what the market is showing. Momentum was in the bear zones, it has climbed back to the sideways. Momentum arrows above 40 on bank nifty as well as on the nifty. So, this reversal of the momentum down on the RSI made it climb back about 40 right so that indicates market indents to make a sideways movement going forth but there's not negate the further downfalls because one japan clearly shows that it's it's a bearish biased primarily but momentum has at least for the day taken a pause or taken a uh, symptom of reverse or a pause whatever i call it now next thing is what are the levels of support and resistances now so it's a, it remains the same as the small cluster of the nifty the first thing would be to clear this 25,000 um, which it has already done now there is going to be some support at this 25,100 uh, some resistance I mean because it's a Fibonacci 23 level so some persons can be expected at this 25,100 once that is cleared the next hurdle will be the 25,400 because that is where the 20 expression moving average is there so 24400 would be the next hurdle after 25100 then there is a gap 25750 that's a gap that was formed four days back right so those are the resistance on the upside downside if this following some support can be found at the previous swing lows at the 24700 and that may act as a support now and then if that is lost then it can go down to 24 400 levels where the 100 expansion moving average is there right that's levels that is also breached then go to the previous swing low at 23 893 before that 24,000 support is also there coming to the bank of the first resistance would be in this 20 expansion moving average zone of 20 of 52 244 so 52,000 is the first hurdle, then 52,245, then you have, I'm sorry, you have one more hurdle. Let me tell that once again. The first hurdle would be 51,820. That's the 50th mission moving average. Once that is cleared, then you have the 52,000, then you have 52,250, where you have the 20 expansion moving average. Then there is a gap at 52,800. Those are the rest of the upside. Downside. You could find some support down here at uh, the 50,200 and then 50,000 that could act as a good support. That is going to reach 200 expansion moving average at 49,000 is the next uh, major support that comes in there, because, right? Because, yeah, but before that, we may find support at the 49,650, which is the previous swing low. So, I'll repeat that 50,000, um, uh, 250. 50,000 and then 49,650 and then 49,073, 49,000 nearby. Those are the levels on the downside of the bank. Momentum and trend. Uh, 
So one more thing also says momentum the trend here already. So momentum has uh, climbed up. Trend remains to be bearish itself, right? It's not much difference. Trend remains to be bearish and trend has not turned over, but momentum has caught up today. And you have the volatility weeks. What has happened is weeks has actually slightly cooled off from the 15, it has become 3% down. That's 14.58. Which is slightly pulled off. There is probably going to be some good news from the ruling government uh, winning in the state elections or something. So, post has happened, some big school off has happened. On post queues, uh, that's about all. Now, open this tomorrow's monthly expiry. So, today the futures OIA is showing Nifty is having a long build up, but Bank Nifty, you can see that's a short covering. That is also bullish in nature. Tomorrow's Bank Nifty is expiry. And, um, if you look at uh, the open interest, the, we are interested in bank nifty. Let's expand. So the highest resistance is going to be coming at 53,000. High support is at 50,000. Very wide range. So market can be very volatile within that range. PCR is bearish. So bearish means there very wide range supports at 50 and 50,000. 53,000 and 50. That's where the highest call and put writing is seen there. Resistance supports remain there. And today's price action, if you see, Heavyweight stocks, um, the HDFCs, Reliance, and all that. If you see, there's some green that you see there. Good up move bounce has happened on the HDFC bank and Reliance. Those are the two giants which brought the markets down. Uh, TCS, ITC, yes, all right, others are all green. Right, let's see heavyweights. You know, index and the, the different sectoral indices, if you see, there is some greenery back there, except for the metal, which has gone down for some reason. One person which was uh, shining when all others were down, no metal is down 1% and all of us are back in green. Good moves in IT, 1.5%, pharma, good move, reality, good move. That's some way for so, sector index and heavyweights is good day for today, uh, green day almost except for the metal and momentum has not dipped in the beer zones, uh, in the medium term at least, right. Short term it is trying to recover again, say. And if you look at um, if four institutions, uh, the data has not come in. Uh, I'll be posting that in the Twitter once it comes in. But there were sellers, there were big time sellers of 8,000, 9,000, 15,000 kind of course of 50,000 crores they already sold in just one week or more. So today they might have at least paused the selling or sold little, is what I would ask to see. But yeah, institution, if I for institution selling is a concern, US markets are not down. Right, managed to close greens, flattish green on the top. Oil may um, be having trouble because of the bad news in the Middle East, but it has risen up to the 78 levels and cooled off today. So today was a good day for oil, for oil, but otherwise it's getting to the top. Gold is also consolidating, looking for the opportunity for the next spike up. Today is a green day, but it's consolidating. Basically, you can see that it's made all-time high and then consolidating. Right. So, rupee as usual it is weak, remains weak and always spiking up after finding a bottom support at the 100 levels. Right. So, global views, the worries of the Israel retaliation, the Chinese market sudden revival and all this are still remaining. US markets earnings seasons are coming. RBA policy would be coming day after tomorrow or something. So, there can be, we can expect a lot of volatility. So, just to sum it up. Markets are bearish biased, bearish momentum. This man to climb sideways today. Don't know whether it's a dead cat bounce. But market is past the downfall is all that we can see as of now, right? A correction of just you know six to eight percent is all that has happened. More could come in any time. You know, uh, this is the same kind of correction that is happening all this while, and that's why corrections are very sharp whenever it happens. So six days credit is fall. Yeah. So, uh, play it safe, be careful, market is bearish by, momentum is just managed to climb the short term sideways, that's all. Trend is still bad, means negative. So, play it safe and uh, there are global cubes are not that great, all the US markets are, right? US markets are just staying on the top, global cubes otherwise with respect to possible war scenarios and all, and all that is not that great, right? So, markets can turn to be slightly volatile. 
stay stay yeah. safe. Okay, so the training is all that. Maybe this. Okay. Bye.